So you turn it on, let it run for a while, turn it off, look and see if anything's coming. Pig trapper Lewis Reeves is using an electronic pig collar. He says letting off a piglet in distress call is one of the fastest ways to get a good shot at a feral female pig. Right now I've caught all the dumb ones. Now I'm working on the smart ones and they get smart in a hurry. Reeves says feral pigs are having as many as three litters every year. As Otero County Wildlife Services specialist, it's Reeves' job to keep those numbers down. As a one-man operation, Reeves drives around the county in the Lincoln National Forest, setting up cage traps, outdoor cameras and rancid bait, where he sees the tracks and signs of feral pigs. We fill this bait tube up with corn and then pour strawberry soda pop on it. We'll anchor it to a post or a stake in the ground. Reeves says around these parts, strawberry soda is a feral pig favourite. When even that doesn't get them into traps, Reeves takes to the forest, usually at night, armed with a semi-automatic rifle and night vision gear. Otero County wasn't always so concerned with exterminating feral pigs. Reeves says the animals have been roaming the Lincoln National Forest since people started releasing them into the wild for hunting 30 to 40 years ago. Releasing pigs into the wild is now illegal in New Mexico, but Reeves says that hasn't curbed the population. The bigger it gets, the more they are threatening livestock and ranching in the area. They turn all the grass, everything that's growing, they turn it upside down. As soon as the sun comes out the next morning, bakes those roots, it don't grow back. Ranchers like Gary Stone graze their cattle on those grasses. Stone's family has been ranching for five generations. If you take the grasses out, then the only thing you're looking at is feedlot, feedlot type, uh, and, and you do away with the natural the natural beef, the natural grass-fed beef, that what people are wanting. Stone is the president of the Otero County Cattle Ranchers Association. He says the more grasses and pastures feral pigs dig up and destroy, the more liquid feeds and protein supplements they have to buy to feed out to their cattle. And a lot of the time, it's the feral pigs that end up eating it. They would come in on that liquid feed and just actually move the cows off of it. Pig trapper Lewis Reeves says the pigs will eat absolutely anything, from grubs in the mud to baby birds. They've even been known to kill baby calves off the ranches. It's hard to prove because when they do, they eat the whole thing. So you've almost got to witness what's going on. But feral pigs may pose an even bigger threat. The animals can carry as many as 32 serious diseases. And because they're drinking from the same water holes and troughs as cattle, Gary Stone says a lot of those diseases can easily be transmitted to livestock. These diseases through the water or through the feed uh, get into our, our cattle. They, they have a potential to pretty much shut the livestock industry down. Take brucellosis. Cattle infected can lose weight, become lame, and even lose their calves. Reeves works with the ranchers. When he traps and kills a feral pig, he takes blood samples and sends them off to the USDA for testing, so ranchers know what vaccines they need to protect their cattle. And those vaccines are crucial. Reeves says all it takes is one infected cow to create a problem for all the ranchers in the area. If you come up positive on brucellosis, your neighbor that has a common fence and has cattle next to your cattle, he's quarantined until he gets a clean test. Reeves says it takes up to a year before a ranch is allowed to sell cattle again after being quarantined. He adds there's only so much that hunting and trapping can do in the mountainous and dense forest in Otero County. He's hoping a feral pig poison under EPA evaluation will be approved. The poison has been successful in eradicating feral pigs in Australia and New Zealand. But with officials saying that approval process could take as long as five years, it may not come soon enough. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.